no matter who we were as kids, whether we were the bully or the captain of the football team or the nerd, we all went through the same pains and struggles. If you've got something that you feel like you would kill yourself if people found out, there's no way you can hold on to that. People were a little bit shocked, like, you're going to read your diary out loud? Why would you want to do that? But the people that don't want to do it love hearing other people do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mortify. Dear Diary. Is it true that girls don't have orgasms the first time? I just put down my Anne Frank diary. I can really relate to her struggle. She said, a lot of what I wrote is about the two of you. And we said, what could you possibly have said that would be bad? Dear Diary. Mom is a dork, a moron, and a geek. I hate her so much. Dad is a bitch and butt crust. Butt crust? I mean, I don't know what that could... uh, That was her imagination. That was not one that, that was... you got from me, I'll tell you that. Just be yourself, be real, look out into the audience. Every person has something in a shoebox in their closet that is embarrassing and raw from their childhood. There's his nipple, I'm looking right at it. That is making love right there. We had a show a few hours ago. After tonight's DC event, I'm officially digging out my angsty high school diary to share the shame. We started opening chapters in New York, and Austin, and even Sweden. <laughs> to this day, we really have no idea what they're saying. That relationship between the performer and the audience is the heart of Mortified. How are you feeling? <laughs> totally nervous. I'm going to go throw up again. <laughs> To take what was once your shame and own it and laugh at it, it's essentially the very nature of what Mortified is about. It's, it's really like a rotor router for the soul. <laughs> yeah? Rotor router is what you stick down your drain when it's wrong, yeah, yeah. <laughs>